I don't really know a lot about climate change, to be honest. It's um, making the earth hotter and like the icebergs melt and all that. We're actually sort of seeing it already. Something bad, that's all I know. It's, it's not generations away, it's, it's now. Yeah, I'm concerned because it's, it's a growing issue that we all know about. I mean, we thought it was just a theory, but now it's actually real. Uh, I think the way that our society is, is living and working is, is just killing the planet. And uh, it matters. It matters a lot. I think people are becoming more and more aware of it. It's on television a lot, as you know, and on radio. And I think people are beginning to be concerned for their children and their children's children. The carbon dioxide that we put into the atmosphere through burning all these fossil fuels is taken up by the oceans. The oceans are turning more acidic. It's interesting that the World Wide Fund for Nature and Forum for the Future have us down as one of the greenest cities in the country. But what we need to do is to look a little bit closer at the local circumstances and say, well, actually, what does that mean for Plymouth? There are lots of smaller projects that we know about, and some of those are something as simple as um, local gardening projects. There's one called Digging It, which is about getting people out and gardening and using their allotments to grow food. In terms of numbers of people we've um, worked with, I think it's sort of um, thousands with the, uh, the number of school children who've come through the gate, um, beneficiaries from different agencies, we've had volunteers, we've had, um, we've run courses at the weekends. The number of people who the project benefits is quite um, remarkable. I think perhaps the gardeners are aware of climate change because it, uh, it certainly affected everyone with their tomatoes last year with the weather being different times of year and um, so yeah, um, growers it certainly affects quite dramatically. Plymouth citywide footprint at the moment is about 1.5 million tonnes of CO2. There definitely are things that we can do to make a difference to reduce the amount of carbon emissions we produce. Instead of having, like, turning on the heater or putting on a, like, your boiler or something, then instead you could, like, on a jumper or something. If you're going on a plane at least one time a year then you're just like putting gases into the air. You shouldn't be sat in front of the TV all the time, just go out to play with your mates and stuff. Or read a book. Yeah, or read a book. And just little things like turning off switches, lights that aren't being used. So if we don't do nothing now, and um, we can't do anything in the future because it's too late. start taking action here at home, you know, maybe those ice flows will be around for grandchildren and great-grandchildren to see. Well, I, I like to think that our grandchildren will look back in a positive light. If they want to do it, then they lose all these sort of like, you know, privileges like a car and computer unless you, you know, use them less. Politicians, they normally look at things three to five years ahead just so they can actually get re-elected. If we really want to make a difference and all the parties have to actually look at the the 100 G of you. It'll be totally different. So it'll be like us looking back on, I don't know, like war times as well, I suppose. I still think there's quite a way to go, but it is picking up pace, I think. Do you take action on climate change and why? And if you don't, why not? Mm.